I don't even know where I am, to be honest. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today is September 13th, 2022. And tomorrow on September 14th, I am going to be leaving Gig Harbor, Washington and making my way down to Salt Lake City, Utah by myself. Ow. Oh my God, I just smacked myself in the nose. So I'm moving down to Salt Lake City to live with one of my best friends, Cheyenne. You've probably seen her on the channel at some point. I've never lived out of the state before. I've never lived anywhere that isn't Washington. Uh, so that's kind of nerve wracking. And this is by far the farthest I've ever driven. It's the farthest I've ever driven by myself. The drive is I think about 13 hours. And so I'm gonna be splitting it into two days because I'm not crazy. I'm not gonna be doing that in one day. The reason why I'm filming this intro the day before is because I know myself and I know that when I wake up in the morning, I'm going to be a zombie. I mean, honestly, this can only end in one of two ways. Disaster. <laughs> Salt Lake City or bust. I've hurt, hit my first tiny bit of traffic. So that's so fun. I can't wait for the eight hours of driving ahead of me. <laughs> I don't know if I said this yesterday, but the way the drive to Salt Lake is breaking down is I, the first day I literally have like eight hours of driving to get to uh, Boise, Idaho, which was a last minute decision. I wanted to just drive to the exact like halfway town, get a hotel there, then do the rest of the driving the next day. But my dad insisted uh, that I stop in Boise and get a hotel there. So that's what's gonna be happening. Gonna be arriving there late tonight, then waking up the next morning to drive the rest of the way to Salt Lake City. I have many podcasts lined up, music lined up for the drive, but eight hours. I mean, that's a lot. First stop of the day, Starbucks, cause I needs it. I haven't eaten yet. So I'm gonna get a panini and I'm gonna get me some pumpkin spice. And I'm gonna pee cause every stop we get, we're gonna pee. A car just drove in front of me where they had two cats in the car and they just had them like in the back sitting on this like blanket all across the back. And they're just chilling back there. One was sleeping, the other one was like looking out the window. Love that. Guys, oh my God, you remember how I said I saw that car with the cats? Well now I'm in traffic and that car is literally right in front of me. So I get to watch the kitties while I sit in traffic. Sometimes God looks down on me. Anyway, the Waze app says I have six more hours, so <laughs> that's fun. Currently just listening to a podcast. I listen to a lot of podcasts. I'm a, I'm a podcast gal, if you will. I actually usually prefer to watch them like on YouTube or at least have it the option to like look at the screen, but I'm in the car, so that's obviously like not gonna happen. I'm currently listening to uh, Violating Community Guidelines with Brittany Broski and uh, Sarah Schauer. My favorites are the Broken Connor Maker podcast from TMG. I love the Relaxed podcast by Colleen and Eric. I like the Guilty Pleasures podcast, which is through like the Try Guys. Sometimes I listen to the Try Guys podcast. I recently discovered this one that is very, uh... oh, gosh. oh God. Sorry. Next item on the agenda. Your girl needs to find a rest stop. A bathroom is in need. It's not desperate. I'm also like, I have a famously strong bladder. Sorry if that's TMI, but it's true. That being said, I'm also a bit infamous. Again, TMI for my bowels. So I'll let you connect the dots there. I've been listening to some Broadway, you know, singing my little heart out. 
I finally got to that part on my maps where it's just like, okay, now you're just gonna continue on this road forever. <laughs> As each moment passes, the rest stop situation, uh, it does get a little more desperate. I'll be honest. I'll try and show you what, what we're driving through here. This is, this is what we're seeing. Just a whole lot of nothing. So my faith in there being a rest stop soon is like definitely depleting. It's a miracle I found a rest stop, so I'm gonna use it. Let's go. It's a pretty good rest stop. I mean, its exterior leaves a little to be desired. The inside was like pretty nice. Yeah, it like had a wood ceiling. There's lots of stalls. I did what needed to be done. Just sitting outside for a second before I get back in the car. But yeah, I'd give that rest stop like an eight out of 10. I don't even know where I am, to be honest. I feel like I've been driving for like 12 years. I don't even think I've crossed state lines yet. I think I'm still in Washington. How is that even possible? Oh God. Yeah. Not me literally just saying like, oh, I don't think I've even crossed state lines and I just crossed state lines. So goodbye, Washington. So I guess I'm in Oregon now. So fun. I'm having such a blast. Okay, bye. Sue me. I stopped at a re another rest stop. If I'm not mistaken, I thought the sign also said this was like on the Oregon Trail or something. <laughs> So that's kind of iconic, but yeah, I don't really even need to pee or anything. I just, I need to get out of the car for a second. Dude, I think this was on the Oregon Trail. There's an info booth. We got to go check that out. Come on. Okay, update. This rest stop was in fact on the Oregon Trail, so they say. And it had a cute little uh, informational hut thing. And uh, the stalls had walls, which I really appreciated. Walled stalls gives a little privacy. However, despite these positives overall, this is a very sketchy rest stop and I feel Hashtag unsafe here as a lone woman. For that reason, I'm gonna give it a six out of 10. It honestly even could be lower. I just, as of right now, don't have a lot to compare it to. I'm currently in the town of Pendleton, Oregon. I believe that's what it's called. And I pulled off because I'm less than half a tank. Like I still definitely, I still definitely have enough gas. I just like get nervous. Like what if I'm like on a big stretch without a gas station or something so this is a big town so i thought i'll just pull off and and get some gas road trip life is crazy who knew oh and there you go so i'm unable to turn the video off if it's still going because i am driving literally where am i uh Okay, I found the Safeway and I've decided I'm gonna go in actually because I feel like I might, when I'm at the hotel later, want to have snacks. Like, I feel like by the time I get there, I'm gonna be so exhausted. I'm, you know, I'm obviously probably gonna pick up some sort of fast food for dinner or something, but I feel like I'm gonna be so exhausted and I, I'm gonna wanna spend as the least amount of time possible in the car. Yeah, I feel like it's a good idea to get like snacks or dessert here now and just have that ready to go. Then I'll get gas, then I'll get back on the road. Little Safeway haul. So I got myself some M&Ms. This is the smallest size they had, okay? Don't judge me. Um, it's gonna last me obviously a few days. I got some goldfish, but then I also got face mask and some like under eye thingamajigs because your girlie is going to a hotel by herself for the first time. Like it's gonna be a little self-care moment. It's gonna be relaxation time. And so I thought that would be kind of fun. Guys, oh my God. The way I forgot, the way I literally forgot that in Oregon, they freaking pump the gas for you. And so uh, I'm like out there, like just doing my thing, getting my gas. This guy walks up, uh, what can I get for you? I'm like, uh, gas. It's so embarrassing, but like, and I get it. Like it obviously helps the economy here or whatever, but I mean, that's just not for me. Like I'm just trying to get my gas and go. I don't know if you can see them, but cows, 
it's like an obligatory road trip thing that when you see cows or horses, you must exclaim cows. I feel like I'm doing too many updates, but like what else am I supposed to do on this freaking drive? But I just passed a sign that said that it was the 45th parallel and it was the halfway point between the equator and the North Pole. So, I just like, I, would, I just thought I would inform you. The way the craziest shit just happened to me. Okay, it's not that crazy, but like for me, if you know me, I'm just like the most anxious mess ever. Like, just so much anxiety. Okay, so I just, I like looked down, and I was like, oh, my phone isn't charging. It's, that's weird. Like, I need it to be charging. It's my maps. It's my everything. Can't have my phone die, right? That would be bad. So I'm like wiggling the wire and stuff. I'm like, that's so weird. Why is this not working? I'm like trying to unplug it and stuff. And then I unplug it and I realize, oh my God, the little charger thing had broken off in my phone. And I was like, crap, that is not good. I need to be able to charge my phone. And if that's stuck, that's gonna be an ordeal. So I'm like, I gotta pull off, I have to figure this out. And I swear it was like the most intense thing ever. Usually I would be like pissing my entire pants because I'd be so stressed out and like anxious in that sort of situation, especially being alone. But no, I handle this like a bad ass. I pull off, I like get off at this exit where there's literally nothing, like there's actually nothing. Like where there should be a road to turn off to like go to some sort of town, there's just like gravel. I was like, okay, so that's what's happening. Sure, 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 cool, cool, cool. So I pull off through the gravel, I put my hazards on, and I'm like, I already know what to do, let's go. So I put in park, put my hazards on, I run to the back too, because I have tweezers in my like makeup bag stuff, and I know where it is in my car, so I'm like, okay. So I run to the back, open up my trunk, all of a sudden a freaking bee, a freaking bee flies into my car, I'm like, not today, not today, nope. And I was like, yeah, get out of my car, it flew away, I'm like, oh my god, thank god, that would have been, oh, that would have been so horrible. I go to my thing, I get my tweezers, close the trunk, because I'm like, no more bees in here, no, no, no. Run back up to the front, go up here, I'm like, with the tweezers in my phone, pull it, and I get the thing out. I have it right here, hold on. Bam, there it is. I don't know if you can see that. Zoom in, zoom in action. So that was stuck in my phone. I get it out. I'm like, hell yeah, that's right. I can do things. I'm capable. Speaking of anxiety, so this is my first solo road trip, uh, farthest I've ever driven, all that sort of stuff. Is also the first time I'm going to be staying in a hotel by myself. And uh, your girly has a bit of social anxiety. Mm hmm. Yeah. Mm hmm. Oh, shout out to everybody with social anxiety. I kind of feel sorry for you. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I'm a bit nervous about it because I'm gonna have to like talk to the front desk people. I don't know, it just seems kind of overwhelming. I've arrived at rest stop number three. No clue where I am. Do have to go to the bathroom. This rest stop is pretty good. Honestly, might be the best of the day, to be honest. It had the walled stalls, which is just beautiful. This one is giving nine out of 10. I have no clue what this is. Rattlesnake Springs Old Oregon Trail. But like, what is it? Pizza oven? It's giving pizza an oven. Tell me that doesn't look like a pizza oven. <laughs> the way I almost had a heart attack because like, I'd be like, oh my gosh, I'm so close, I'm almost there, so excited. And this whole time, like my rival was saying like about like six. And so I glanced down at my maps to like check on your rival or whatever. And it says like around seven. And I said, uh, uh, hold up, what, excuse me, what? No, 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 there's no way. <laughs> I forgot there's a one hour time difference over here. So I must have like just recently crossed that threshold. Welcome to Idaho, baby. Woo! Three states, one day. At the hotel. Mm. Yeah, when I got off the freeway, you know, I did make a couple wrong turns and made my way through the airport terminal. I won't get into it, but long story short, I made it. It's giving view. Hello, it is the next morning and I checked out of the hotel and we are on the road en route to Salt 
Lake City. Woo! The way I passed out in the hotel last night, like, I was so tired. And the bed was so warm and large. It was amazing. My solo road trip has almost come to an end. I'm really proud of myself. I think I've handled this a lot better than I thought I would. Especially considering like I used to be really, really horrified of driving. Like I think I've done a lot better than I, I thought I would and so I'm really quite happy about that. That being said, I do prefer road trips with people. It's just more fun. It makes the drive go by faster when you have other people. All right, I just stopped for gas because I was getting scared that I was gonna run out, but I'm still like in the middle of nowhere. I'm not gonna get food or anything yet, but there's a town coming up called Twin Falls uh, that I think I might stop there for food or whatever. Okay, <laughs> never mind on that plan. I did miss the exit, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. but it's okay. I'm not too hungry yet anyway. So I'll just keep my eye out for like the next big town. First Salt Lake sign, woo! The situation is starting to get a bit dire. I'm still in the butt of nowhere. I have yet to pass like a good town with good food. And I'm starting to um, have a similar bathroom emergency as yesterday. But there's like no rest stops. There's act like I have not seen a single freaking rest stop in I don't even know how long. It's starting to get a bit concerning. Yeah. Wait, blue sign, blue sign. Come on, please, 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 please. <gasps> yes! Oh my god, I've manifested it! Rest area, next right. Oh my god. Oh, thank god. Oh my god. Okay, wasn't expecting this rest stop to slay as hard as it did. Honestly, it does rival the one from yesterday. First of all, it's like got this like indoor little situation going on. Secondly, again, we had walled stalls. I don't know how I keep finding these. I don't know how I'm, I keep getting this blessed. It's not necessarily as glamorous as the last one with like the pizza oven and the Oregon Trail and the mountains. I think I'm gonna give it a nine out of 10 again. I think that both of them have their strengths. It's getting to the point where the hunger is starting to be a bit painful, but I'm still, in the middle of nowhere. There's nothing. There's nothing. Guys, I could literally cry. This town, Trem Tremonton, I think that's what it's called. The way I see the magnificent golden arches of McDonald's. Guys, I never thought this day would come. I made it! Oh my god! <laughs> Shut up! I made it. It only took me two days, 13 hours of driving. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like, comment down You'll below. You'll see a lot subscribe. of me. You'll see a lot of me now. It's all about that Utah content now. Yeah. So yeah, have a good summer. Bye. My back hurts. My butt hurts.